Hi, I'm Brian Canone. Thank you for visiting fitnessatlantic.com. And we've been talking about competing in shows, getting exposure, knowing different federations, choosing what best fits you. Um, now we're going to talk a little bit about, in this video, um, the bodybuilding criteria. So each federation that offers bodybuilding may have slightly different criteria. Pretty much, it used to be very different, and, and now overall, at least everybody's pretty much on the same page with it. Um, bodybuilding is about your first round, your symmetry round. It's the bodybuilders stand and they do a, a quarter turns in a circle. With this round, they're looking for your aesthetics of your body. They're looking for does your upper body match your lower body? Is your waist thick or small? Um, the shape of your muscles, the shape of your body compared to the guy next to you. Um, some of the shows and some of the scorecards actually give you a score and it's a little different. Some shows, this is the one thing, you know, you may even look at the criteria and say, all right, I understand it, I got it. But then you want to look and say, well, how do the judges score you? Do they judge you based on you know, how you compare, is it comparison posing to everybody next to you, or is it an individual score? And individual score, most of the time, come to the shows that just have so many competitors in that show that they can't get everybody on stage at once. Comparison is pretty easy. If I took five guys, put them up on stage, and had them stand there, you could pretty much look, anybody in the audience could pretty much look, depending on their level of, you know, status or how good they really are. You would look up there and say, okay, one, two, three, four, five. You kind of know. And with, if you're with a couple of your buddies and then you, everybody picked, you kind of say, well, you, normally everybody would pick the winner. And that's the thing of a judging panel. You're going to have an odd number of people, usually seven. There's a head judge, so it makes it eight. The head judge kind of outlies everything. They, they put people where they, they kind of think they belong. Um, they organize the paperwork for the tabulator who's adding up the scores. And what they're doing is they're going to have on their score sheets, you're going to look either it's comparison or you're given a score. So in that first round, it's going to be your symmetry round. So it's going to be based on the shape of your body, okay? Um, then the guys walk off stage, or they usually stay there, and they go into round two. Um, round two would be um, your posing round and, and how you compare to the other guys in posing. So you're going to get a score based on either your definition, your muscularity, your condition, all right? So this one is going to be based on your body condition, um, how lean you are and how muscle, you know, how much muscle you have. Not all shows go completely on size. It's not just based on the biggest, freakiest guy on stage. It's looking at, looking at who has the best physique, who is that best bodybuilder. So you're going to look between the two. It's going to be your symmetry and your condition. How tight is somebody? How dialed in are they? How is how low is their body fat? And how well do they present themselves in those poses? Because if you had a pinch test on, on body fat, there may be some guys that are leaner and, and definitely a lot more um, less body fat on them, but one guy just has a better looking physique. So it's going to be on who's the overall best bodybuilder on stage. They're going to look at your condition wise. How good is that person? Presentation is huge in, in that part. And being confident to know those poses. There's mandatory poses that are done in that second round. And it's usually your basic poses of usually about eight or nine poses that you would do. Okay, so it's pretty much, some have you do a full circle and repeat poses, like your side chest pose. May be done on the left, it may be done on the right. Most of them say your favorite side chest. So you're going to go through and you're going to take a look at the poses that that federation wants. Um, you're going to take a look at those three things, um, going from symmetry, muscularity, presentation. Okay. Next thing some people do score is your posing routine. 
So you're going to take a look at how, first take a look at how long is it. Some of them are 60 seconds, some are 90 seconds. Usually it's between the two. So just because you go 90 seconds doesn't mean it's better either. It means because you may be able to add a little bit more elements to it. Some of the posing routines are judged on a score of one to five and some are scored in a comparison to the top five in your division. So you want to take a look at which one is that? Is it, are you given a score? Or are you compared to the other people in your, in your group? Um, when you're given a score, what is that based on? Sometimes it's an entertainment factor, which isn't always completely fair. You know, you want to look at entertainment for the crowd. Um, somebody that comes out and just, you know, does something pretty funny, um, wears a little costume out on stage, may be entertaining, but it doesn't mean that they're a better poser at their presentation. So in that round, it's safe to say, try to do both. Try to entertain and try to be fluid and have great posing with your music. Um, usually you will see the mix of your posing music is a combination of things. A lot of guys will come out with something slow and go into something hard and heavy towards the end or they'll have a theme to it in some way that makes it more entertaining. Um, they may use a prop at the beginning as they walk out on stage. There's been people that come out with a towel wrapped around them, a fireman hat on, something that just adds a little entertainment to it. They take it off, it kind of goes with the music theme of what they're doing. And there's been a lot of guys that have done like gladiators, which is pretty cool. They come out with a gladiator helmet on, they do something with the gladiator thing, they take it off, and it has a little bit of gladiator music and they pose well. That would be a great routine that would probably score very highly. You want to try to mix it up with entertaining the crowd but also showing your physique in the best way. There are guys that come out with a great theme, great idea, but their posing is just horrendous. So you want to take a look at what is that and know that you're either going to be compared to the, guy, the other guys in the top five for the posing routine or it's going to be how um, how your score was as an individual. Um, either way, try to just make it a great routine. Um, sometimes it's just, be, you know, you have crowd involvement and the crowd loves you, but they don't always love the best guy either. There's something that was entertaining about that one. Um, but that's a plus. If the crowd's yelling for you, that's definitely a plus. Pick music that you think is gonna be different. Um, not always the same music you know, that's just a regular top 40 song that's just playing and you think like five other people might use it too. It's not really going to do anything for you. Take the time and spend it on that routine. So in bodybuilding, you're going to have different rounds, different federations, different things they're looking for, different scoring methods, and uh, different criteria. So take a look at the criteria of what is involved in that. Go to the website of that show, check out the criteria, know that with the WBFF, Definitely looking for round one symmetry, round two muscularity, round three your posing routine. If they have to, there's round four, which would be just looking at you again in the pose down. Usually pose down though, to be honest, is about the winners of all their divisions coming together and being scored at, as a final to get the overall of all your classes. Okay, so. One thing to know about this with the WBFF and, and what they're saying is it's not about the biggest guy. It's not about the biggest, freakiest guy up on stage. You have to have the full package. That's what they're looking at. Okay, so that's very important because it's not just about muscle size because muscle size isn't going to bring bodybuilding to the next level. It's going to be the guy with the great body. The guy knows how to present it. The guy can bring the house down. So take a look at putting the whole package together and bringing the whole thing to the stage. All right, thank you.